the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning. Let us call to mind our sins and ask forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Lord, look kindly upon the devotion of your people that those who by self-denial are restrained in body may by the fruit of good works be renewed in mind. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time, set out for the great city of Nineveh and announced to it the message I will tell you. So Jonah made ready and went to Nineveh according to the Lord's bidding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone but a single day, announcing, Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be destroyed. When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed a fast, and all of them, great and small, put on sackcloth. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, laid aside his robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in the ashes. Then he had this proclamation throughout Nineveh by decree of the king and his nobles. Neither man nor beast, neither cattle or sheep, shall taste anything. They shall not eat, nor shall they drink water. Man and beast shall be covered with sackcloth and call loudly to God. Every man shall turn from his evil way and from the violence he has in hand. Who knows, God may relent and forgive and withhold his blazing wrath so that we shall not perish. When God saw by their actions how they turned from their evil way, he repented of the evil that he had threatened to do to them. He did not carry it out. The word of the Lord. A heart contract and humbled, O oh God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O oh God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sins cleanse me. A heart contrite. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renewed within me. Cast me out, not out, from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Lord, contrite. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. My heart contrite and humbled, O oh God, you will not spurn. Glory to you, 
word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the queen of the south will rise with men of this generation, and she will condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. But there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah, they repented, and there is something greater here than Jonah. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> well, uh, eight days down and 32 to go. <laughs> We're a week into Lent, and the Gospel and the readings today challenge us to receptivity. How receptive are we to God's word to repent? How receptive, how receptive are we to Jesus' challenge and the scripture's challenge to repent of our sins and to change our thinking and our actions. You know, the Ninevites, Ninevites were, the, uh, they were the enemy. Those were the ones that uh, basically destroyed the northern kingdom of Israel and took the people back to Babylon in captivity. And so when God called the Ninevites, or called Jonah to go and preach repentance to the Ninevites, Jonah wanted nothing to do with it. That's how he ended up in the belly of a whale and got spit out at the right place so that he would go and offer God's opportunity to repent. And today we hear that the enemy repented at the preaching of Jonah. And so Jesus challenges us today that if God offers repentance to everybody, even our enemies, and most importantly to us, are we willing to embrace Jesus' call to really look into our lives, change our mind about how we think about life, and put on the gospel values as a way to live? So what is it that we find so hard to repent for? Is it our pride? Is it our unwillingness to forgive? Is it our disregard for the dignity of other people who might be different than us, our prejudices? Um, is it our selfishness? Some of us can only see what we don't have and can't see the blessings we do have. But whatever it is, you have your sin and I have mine. And today, Jesus challenges us to accept his call to repent. That's what Lent is about. As we eat the bread of forgiveness and as we accept the forgiveness of God in our lives today, let us pray that God's gracious gift to us, all of God's graces to us, will truly move us to change our lives. Let us stand and bring our petitions to the mercy of our God. For all members of the church, may God renew our hearts and help us grow in faith and holiness. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials, may God inspire them in working for the good of their constituents. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those with chronic illnesses, may Christ, the divine physician, 
bring them physical and spiritual healing. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God's love be present to us through our struggles and draw us closer to him this Lenten season. Let us pray. For those who have died, may they rejoice in the presence of God forever with all the angels and the saints. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Monica Harold, who we remember respect for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or for whom do we pray today? And entrusting the people of Ukraine to Our Lady, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We ask these many things through Christ our Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Amen. Lord, we offer to you what you have given to be dedicated to your name, that just as for our benefit you make these gifts a sacrament, so may you let them become for us an eternal remedy. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. By your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Easter feast with the joys of mind made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participation in the mysteries, we are reborn and may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow upon your people. And so with all the choirs of angels and saints, may our voices be one in grateful praise as we say, holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. O oh God, who never ceases to nourish us by your sacrament, grant that the refreshment you give us through it may bring us on ending light. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a good day.